Hey guys, welcome to the Practice Rocks series and today is metal time. No, seriously, I want to talk about power chords and practice them a little bit. So what's a power chord and why is it called power chord? So the power chord is the root note and the fifth usually, like we have an E and the fifth is a B. So this is a power chord. And it's called as power chord because it sounds very powerful and very strong. Now, um, to, to you know make it exciting, we use um, palm muting. rhythmic elements like this is a 16th and then we have the double and the skip a note so instead of now if I do muting then if I don't want to mute the, st the strings then I raise my my hand so I got this this kind of movement with my right hand. You see? Now you can put in phases uh, quite everywhere uh, in the structure. So, and the in phases is when you don't mute the strings. So here I have the in phases on the ones, but I can do on the second, on the third. Or on the fourth. Or of course I can combine these like So in order to make the power chord more powerful, I will put the octave here. So I will have an E and another E. This way we have a richer sound. And of course we can build uh, complete chords like... To get this huge sound. And I use uh, usually the root, the third, the fifth, uh, but we can put quite any uh, note from the scale. And here I have a ninth with the F sharp. And then I have the B, which is the fifth. And then on the top I have the E. But I can have uh, like an 11 sound if I switch to D. And even I can use the high E string and open strings. So I've got this very rich, huge sound here. Let's say I want to play a B power chord. So I have a B as a root, then F sharp as a fifth, and a B again. But I also use this F sharp here. So this way, on the low E and the A string, I have this, this kind of sound. And according to me, this is much more powerful. And of course here we can build another notes as well, on top of the radial power chord. I love using this. It sounds really brutal, according to me. Okay, 
So, um, apart from power chords, you can use uh, thirds as well. <laughs> So I will use arpeggios uh, in the lick, like... Or like this one. Very strong sound. Eh? Okay, so let's practice the muting and uh, let's try to get uh, different rhythmic patterns. So I will come closer to the to the camera to show my right hand, so that you can see what I do and how I mute the strings. <laughs> You can see this movement with my right hand. So let's practice to uh, to put the emphasis on one. Now on two. You can get very interesting lines, and of course, uh, so I use only the power chords, but you can change the chords to make it more exciting. One last thing I want to show you in this video is to using the diminished sound and the diminished sound with a distortion, with a strong distortion is very, very aggressive. So let me show you an example. I have an F sharp and then I have a C and then again an F sharp and it sounds like... And if you put the other C on top, then you get an even richer sound. I love using it. It's very strong. So try to experiment with your uh, right hand to get the muting well. And uh, yeah, like I showed you, try to put the emphasis on different points. Uh, this way you can get uh, more divers rock lines. Mute all the strings and then just scratch. Like here. And the only thing you have to do is mute really all the strings otherwise you will get a lot of noise. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I did. And see you next time. Cheers.